I'd see him sitting on that couch all day long, just staring at that Hollywood hogwash. Our favorite show was Hollywood Hogwash. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Hollywood Hogwash. I am Andrew Pisano, along with Josh Reeves. Along with the ratings machine, Josh Reeves. The ratings machine, huh? Do, 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 do. I don't know what I'm doing there. It's okay. All right, should we start over? Nah, it's fine. Let's just keep powering through. Powering through. This like, week uh, had some uh, interesting, uh, interesting choices. Didn't really like Moon Knight this week, but you know what? Close it off with Sonic, and Sonic was damn okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going to get into it. Uh, Sonic was, I mean, for the most part, it was enjoyable. When Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails were on the screen, or Jim Carrey, I was enjoying it. Yeah, the and, other 40% um, of the movie, eh, probably didn't The mean. rest of the people, uh, not so much. Jim Carrey was the only enjoyable human character in the movie. Yeah, I'll There was a that. lot of other unnecessary uh, Go scenes. figure, the CGI stole the show. Well, of course. Stole the show. Sonic was great. Knuckles was great. Tails yeah. was great. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it was a lot of fun. We saw it with my son, Leo. He loved it, obviously. He's nine years old. And- yeah, he gave it a thumbs up. Not two, so I don't know what you, if that correlates to anything. I mean, he really liked it. So we're going to get into it. We're going to talk Moon Knight, episode three. Uh, but first... Let's uh, handle the Hollywood hogwash. So there's a lot of Marvel rumors out there about like the future of the TV shows, like which TV shows are going to get renewed, which Mm -hmm. are not. Mm -hmm. Uh, Variety is reporting that Disney is going to submit Loki for outstanding drama series at the Emmys. Okay. I could see that. And uh, they're going to submit Moon Knight and Hawkeye as limited series categories. So that. One and done. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I told you, I thought Moon Knight would be kind of self capsulated in the series. Self contained. Yeah, I thought there might be more Hawkeye, but, you know, Moon Knight, I don't really think is going to have a very long run. It seems like this Conchu character is a real dick. I couldn't see him going forward. (laughs) Well, I mean, you would think he's going to show up. In like a movie or something, maybe. Maybe. They might do a movie with Oscar Isaac or... Sure, sure. Maybe. You really think yeah. they would just do Moon Knight one, one six episode series I mean, he'll probably be... You'll never in, see him again? He'll probably be sprinkled into like other series and stuff like that, but I don't know if I could ever see another, another series just about Moon Knight. Another season? Yeah. Right. I don't know. I mean, we'll see where this one... Ends, ends in another three episodes. Yeah. But right now, I mean, I'll be honest. It's one of the weaker weaker sh- Disney Plus uh, experiences that they've had. So far. So far. Yeah, I mean, it could have a slow build and it could end up being great. We don't know. Sometimes uh, that happens. We're, we're in the middle right now. True. Well, there's only three episodes left. Yeah, so it's true. I don't know. And then there's this social media account, MCU More. And they have a pretty big following, so I don't know like how legit their info is or who this person is. So. Let's take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. I, I feel like a lot of this stuff is just kind of common sense. Like Falcon and Winter Soldier, no second season. Uh, there will be a Captain America 4 mm-hmm. uh, with the cast returning. Sharon Carter will be in Armor Wars, the... One of the Disney Plus shows that's coming out. Okay. Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard about that. I think Armor Wars is coming out this year. Hmm. And then it says uh, Zemo and John Walker will appear in other MCU projects moving forward. And yeah, that makes sense. It does make sense. Uh, It says Hawkeye will not get a second season as the show was supposed to be a movie originally. Hmm. However, characters like Echo, she's getting her own show. And Yelena and Kate will appear in other MCU projects. Yelena and Kate are the ones that need a new show. It's true. They need a buddy, they, a buddy a, cop show. A buddy cop show. <laughs> Just kicking ass. That would be amazing. Names. That's the show they need. That would be so great. <laughs> uh, Loki, the second season, is, expect, is expected to drop in 2023 or 2024. Hopefully not that long. But uh, the show was originally 12 episodes long until it was cut in two. Mm. 
Uh, Kang will make an appearance in Ant-Man 3 as the villain. Sounds about right. And Loki and Sylvia are both rumored to be in Doctor Strange 2. I kind of feel like Kang is going to be in Doctor Strange, but I mean, Might. who knows? I mean, with all the multiverse type of stuff, I wouldn't doubt if we see Kang. Yeah. Uh, what if we'll get a second season with yeah. stories of Phase Four being included? I feel like I've heard that one. Characters like Captain Carter, Dark, uh, mm-hmm. Dark Doctor Strange, and the Watcher are rumored to make their debut sometime soon. I mean, we're pretty much expecting Captain Carter to be in Doctor Strange too. And the same with Dark Doctor Strange. Yeah, we know that's happening. Uh, we already know <laughs> he's in it. There's going to be a shit ton of cameos in that movie. There probably will be. Yeah. Uh, Captain Carter will have her own show somewhere in the future. That makes sense, too. Yeah. WandaVision obviously will not have a second season. Didn't they have a Captain Carter show already? Wasn't there something like no, that? No, Agent Carter. Agent Carter. Yeah. I never watched it. Never it was one of those either. network shows, like uh, Agents yeah. of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. They looked, those shows looked terrible. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously no second season for WandaVision, but they're, gonna, they're doing the Agatha Harkness show. Right. Well, the second season of WandaVision is Doctor Strange, uh, yeah. Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> right. And to Monica Rambeau? Who's Monica? Oh, that was the um, the other woman in the show that had superpowers. Oh, that was She's the agent, be, right? Was that the agent, I Monica? I think it was. Okay, that makes sense. Wanda will make her appearance as the villain in Doctor Strange. Uh, White Vision will appear in Armor Wars. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. White Vision will appear in Armor Wars. Okay. I guess he's still around, yeah. Definitely canon. Right. So, there you go. Yeah. So, I mean, there's there's a lot of interesting shows that are coming out. Disney Plus is definitely making their money back. Yes. And, you know, so far... A lot of content. It hasn't been a dud. You know, even though that um, Moon Knight isn't great, it's not a dud. You know? What was the worst one, you would say, out of all of them? It's either WandaVision or probably Falcon and Winter Soldier. There was really nothing to that at all. Yeah, WandaVision, I I was just, I wasn't into the, into the different stories and everything. It got better as it went along. It got better. But the first couple episodes were verse log for sure. But Falcon and Winter Soldier just seemed pointless. I mean, like, obviously, uh, you know, he had to become Captain America and his suit did look cool, but. For sure. Yeah, it just wasn't really that exciting of a show right obviously but it wasn't bad none of them have really none of them have been bad it's not that it was bad it's just yeah the least the least best look you got loki and then everything else is underneath loki (laughs) well yeah loki and hawkeye i mean i loved both of those yeah i'd have to probably watch those again to decide which i liked more because i i just love the surprises in well, and they weren't really surprises because we expect them to show up. But, like, the people showing up in Hawkeye, that was great. And Kate Bishop might be my favorite character. Kate, Kate Bishop and Yelena. And Jesus. Yelena, yeah. Well, one of the things that uh, that, that uh, Twitter guy did not get, which I am kind of curious about, didn't mention anything about Punisher, Daredevil, or Jessica well, Jones. So, And we know those are going to start being in the mix. Well, Jessica Jones, she might be finished. Maybe. Daredevil Luke obviously Cage. is expe- Daredevil's expected to be an Echo, mm-hmm. and then he's going to get his own reboot show. Right. I don't know about the Punisher. I really don't. He, John Bernthal even said, I, I don't want to do a PG-13 version of the Punisher. So if they were to do the Punisher, they might have to recast him and reboot the whole thing. And I don't know if I even want that, if it's if that's going to be the case. They'll get the Punisher from the movies. Uh, what was his name? Tom, Tom Jane? Thomas Jane. Thomas Jane. Yeah. <laughs> Well, even he didn't like how they did that movie. It wasn't the greatest of movies. He made Fine. he made like a short film like years later. Did he? Yeah, like of him as the Punisher. It's like this 10-minute thing, and it's awesome. And he's like, this is how I saw the character. Hmm. And it was just this 10-minute short film, and it was great. I kind of want to watch it. It's Yeah, it's online. You can check it out. Yeah, it I'm was gonna, good. I'm going to definitely do that. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, Variety reports that David S- uh, Zaslov, the CEO of the recently merged Warner Brothers Discovery, hmm. believes that many DC characters need to be revitalized after being underutilized in the <laughs> DCEU for so long, especially Superman. So this guy wants right. to reboot, which I've been saying for years that they need to reboot the entire DCEU. 
I, they just keep on, you know, straggling along. They definitely yeah. need to do a clean slate and just start all the way over again with a new vision. Yeah. The problem is they're all about the same. Well, the other they're all the, dark and the, they're all the, grungy. The problem is like they have so many different movies and none of them like uh, have to do anything with another. Right. Like there's the Batman mm-hmm. that has nothing to do with the Joker film, like nothing whatsoever. Right. Now they could always do. I mean, they're they're gonna do it for the Flash movie mm-hmm. where. They're going to have the multiverse shit, so you can always... If that even gets made now. No, well, it got made. It's done. (laughs) We're recasting Barry. The movie... Yeah, that's true. Oh, right. The movie is done, uh, and we're just fucking waiting to see Michael Keaton again, but... I mean, maybe he could just be Batman moving forward. Is he the only character that has crossed... that's, that's, That's DC and Marvel? No, there's been other... Uh, there's been other actors... Maybe like a main villain though, and a a villain and a hero. He's Batman and he's yeah. the Vulture. That's well, crazy. There can't be that too many people. Uh, that's been well, no, Jared Leto's is has been in both now. Joker and Morbius. Oh, I forget about him. <laughs> but those both suck. Yeah, Michael yeah. Keaton at least has two great characters. <laughs> yeah. Also, Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin's been in everything. Yeah. <laughs> Thanos, and then also Cable. Well, that's that's both Marvel, though. Oh, both Marvel. Yeah. So was he in DC as anything? I don't know. I don't think so. Mm. Yeah. I'm not sure. Or he did like a movie like a long time ago that might have been DC, but it was it looked terrible. It was some cowboy thing where he had like oh, a fucked Jonah up face. Hex. Jonah Hex. Yeah, I Is guess that that's DC? technically DC. I mean, yeah, kind of. It's kind of. And yeah. Ryan Reynolds did went DC with Green Lantern to... to uh, we, we don't count that. We don't no. count that. I'm just saying it happens. Oh, uh, well, Chris Evans played two different Marvel heroes, so... Right, right. He was um, Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm, yeah. And, well... A much that would be now. hilarious if he did a cameo... In Doctor Strange, and he was Johnny Storm. Ah, that would be great. Because the rumor is that <laughs> Mr. Fantastic is going to be in Doctor Strange. Right. That would be amazing. Oh, like, just like a five-second thing. And then Do- and Doctor Strange is like, what? He looks familiar. <laughs> that would be fucking great. In that universe, yeah, he was be- Johnny Storm. <laughs> Wow. That'd be awesome. That'd be, that would be great. Wow. Thank, thank you for putting that in my mind. It's yeah. not going to happen. But thank Probably you for not. putting it there. It could. <laughs> Never know. Never know. Are we going to see Tom Cruise as uh, Tony Stark? <sighs> we definitely need a scorecard. <laughs> yeah. We need a scorecard. Do. Who's showing up? That's true. Squirrel girl. All this type of bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, yeah. So this guy wants more DC movies like Joker, and they want like a Kevin Feige like figure, which again, I've just, just tell a great James showrunner, just have James Gunn do it all. If he wants to, I, right here you go, buddy. You want a billion? Here's a billion dollars. Did you see peacemaker do everything? Make 13 things like this, or they should call Christopher Nolan and, and just offer him a trillion dollars, all the money in the world. But wasn't he all, but heard about them going to streaming. Oh, that's true. That's right. He does hate Warner brothers. now. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, yeah, we're Sony. Discovery. We're Discovery now. Yeah, he's done with them. Sony's producing Oppenheimer. Mm. Yeah, he's finished with uh, with Warner Brothers. Interesting. Uh, we mentioned Morbius a minute ago. Uh, oh. Morbius had the had the worst second weekend box office drop in Marvel history, beating the previous record holder, X Men: Dark Phoenix, at a seventy two percent drop off its second weekend. Morbius seventy four percent. Makes sense. Those movies uh, I both can suck. understand it. Yeah. See, like Morbius is is worse than Dark Phoenix, but I was more upset about Dark Phoenix because I loved all those other X Men movies, like X Men First Class, Days of Future Past, Apocalypse. I loved those three, and then they just botched Dark Phoenix so bad that it, it upset me more. Yeah, and Morbius. I don't really care about Morbius. You didn't really have any expectations going into Morbius, but dear Jesus, even with no expectations, it was still god awful. Yeah, and very difficult to get through. Very yeah. difficult to get through. Oh yeah, definitely. But so far, I guess it's made eighty four million dollars globally. What? Oh no, that, more than that. Well, that was that's April eighth. 
Yeah, so it's got to be more than that. Yeah, it's definitely more than that. That that would be embarrassing if that's all it made globally. But that's like opening weekend or something. Yeah, opening weekend. Oh, Lord. Well, I hope... Well, it couldn't have made that much more by now because, well, especially again... Especially with the, the 70% drop-off. Drop off. Yeah. You know, the thing is, it's like... Who was clamoring for a Morbius movie anyways? No one. I don't understand why it ever got It's one made. of, like, the... Like, no... Like, not that many even care... People care about that Spider-Man villain to begin with. Right. And the same with, I think, that's going to happen with... Uh, what was it? Craven? Not Craven. Uh, well, Craven's getting a movie, yeah. The Craven, yeah. I mean, I don't think anybody's cra- I mean, people... <laughs> cra- craving for a Craven movie. Craven you know? Moorhead. I don't know. I just I just wish they would kind of stick to what's working for him and not try to go too far off a of left field. I mean, people like, like Craven that. a lot more than Morbius, I think. That's for sure. Uh, fair, yeah. So... We'll see. Uh, also, um, you know the movie Ted with uh, the Seth MacFarlane movies? The Thunder Buddies, right? Thunder Buddies. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Seth Rogen. No, not Seth Rogen. I said Seth MacFarlane. I mean, oh, the, Seth Farlane. I mean the actor. Uh, Marky Mark. Mark Wahlberg. Oh, okay. Yeah. So apparently there's going to be a Ted TV series coming to Peacock, and it's going to take place in 1993. So I guess it'll be when... When Marky Mark was a child? So <laughs> obviously it's not going to be Mark Wahlberg. It's going to be a little kid playing his character. But so some sort of like rate, maybe like some sort of rated R or maybe PG-13 <laughs> like children's show. I don't know about that. It sounds like it'd be kind of creepy too. Always talking like a little kid talking to a stuffed bear and the stuffed bear comes to life. Well, did you, you saw the movies, right? I did see the movies. I mean, they have- did not like the movies. Not what? I didn't like they it. They were hilarious. No, that wasn't for me. Especially the first one. I'm not a family guy type of funny, so that humor isn't for me. Okay. But people, too smart? It's too it's too highbrow. Too highbrow. <laughs> I like low, my humor very low brow. That's as low brow as it gets, the Ted movies. What are you talking about? I know people loved it. I know he's a beloved character, but it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. Why though? Like what was the what was the problem? I'm just not a big fan of, you know, teddy bears coming to life. I think it's creepy. Oh, it scared you? It did. It was you got terrifying. scared? It was terrifying. The animated bear, I was like, fuck that noise. Oh, my God, Josh. Jesus. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Yeah, great. I just didn't like the, the bear's voice either. Because I don't like Peter. I don't like Peter from Family Guy. And it's Seth MacFarlane's Peter voice. Peter from Family Guy scares you too? It, the He's voice scared. scares me. Yeah. Oh, God. How did you get that hot wife, Lois? I don't know. I don't know. That's every TV show ever. It's a fat husband with a hot wife. It's yeah. Every TV Let show. me get into Kevin James. How did Kevin James get Lena Re- Remy? Remy? Remini? Lena Remini. Lena Remini on uh, King of Queens. That's beyond me. Where's my TV show? Where's the chubby Josh gets well, a uh, hot wife TV show? He, uh, tricked, her. he tricked her with Scientology. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Damn, maybe that's what I need, Scientology. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Also, uh, Nicolas Cage did a Reddit uh, Q&A. Sounds amazing. To promote his upcoming fil- film that we're reviewing next week, uh, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, and uh, answered some questions. I have a couple of them. I thought they were interesting. Okay. Uh, they asked, what's the movie quote you hate most when strangers holler it at you in public? <laughs> oh, man. And he said, I don't have a problem with any of the quotes. I'm glad they remember the movie. So he doesn't care. He likes them all. Okay. Start yelling things at Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Uh, What movie can you watch over and over and still not get bored? He said, Apocalypse Now and Spirited Away. Which, Apocalypse Now, his uncle, that was Francis Ford Coppola, right? Uh, Uh, Apocalypse Now. Sure. Do Apocalypse Now. It was actually really no, not Spirited Away. I've never heard of Spirited Away. I think that's like, yeah, it's an anime. What the fuck? (laughs) Uh, Pretty sure Francis Ford Coppola did Apocalypse Now. You can't. I have to do it, I guess. (laughs) Apocalypse Now. I got it. I got it. Martin Sheen. uh, Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah. Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah. So that makes sense that he would say that. Okay. I'd be curious about which one of his movies that he would see over and over. Well, hold on there. That's coming. What's your dream role that you have yet to complete? Superman. I would like to play. Yeah, I would like to play uh, Jules Verne's Captain Nemo because of the character's love of the ocean. I share that with him. I don't even know what right. the character is. Sure, whatever. Uh, if only three of your films could be preserved for posterity, which three would you choose? 
He did not choose the ones that I would choose. Con man, face con off. Air. Uh, con air. Con air, face off, and gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> like for mine or your choice? For mine. I like okay. Con in 60 seconds. I mean, Con air and face off would be the first two. I'd have to, I guess I have to think about the third one. Um, but he said, bring out the dead pig leaving Las Vegas. Leaving Which, Las Vegas. I don't know pig. Pig is relatively new. Uh, I think it's kind of like John Wick. They steal his pig, so he goes on a murderous rampage. Oh, no. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> sounds amazingly terrible. The film stars Nicolas Cage as a truffle hunter who lives alone in the Oregon wilderness and must return to his pat past in Portland in search of his beloved pig. pig. Yeah. That, it's something that like sounds that. awful. <laughs> uh, it sounds amazing to me. I don't know what you're talking about. No. Uh, Don't read the plot. Come on. That's why? We're going to move it. <laughs> Maybe. I no. might want to see it. No. <laughs> I love seeing Nicolas Cage movies. <laughs> for better or for worse. Its box office debut was $3.8 million. Wow. It was a very, 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 very small movie. Fair. Like all of his movies, pretty much. Yeah. Except for the one we're reviewing next week. Can't wait. Fair. Uh, what do you have? Uh, this week... I've got um, so you know the uh, upcoming Star Wars um, Obi Wan Kenobi is coming out very soon, next month. Next month. Uh, so one of the writers uh, spoke to Entertain Week me- Weekly just about uh, kind of like laying the groundwork for like yeah. what type of um, things you should be uh, expecting as the show starts. Yeah, and uh, he says the Empire is in this. Ascendancy. Ascendancy. Ascendancy, thank you. And all the horrors that come with the Empire being made to manifest throughout the galaxy. And the Jedi Order, as we know them, are being all but wiped out. Yeah. So everything that was in the prequels has crumbled. Those surviving Jedis, those that do survive, are on the run, and they're hiding. And Vader... And his mm-hmm. inquestors are chasing them throughout. Inquisitors. Inquisitors, thank you. Are chasing them to the end yeah. of the galaxy. Well, the, yeah, the trailer made that very self-explanatory. Yeah, so I mean, it, you know, it, it seems like it's dark. Yeah. Sad. Well, the, apparently the original, you know, we read it, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, that the original draft was too dark. Mm-hmm. So they decided to lighten it up. But yeah, obviously it's it's it, lo- it looks intense. Uh, the only other thing that uh, I have two other things. Uh, the uh, one of the other ones is uh, so the actor from Eternals uh, was arrested in Which Ireland. One? Oh, the guy that played the Joker in the guy that Batman, played the Joker, Barry, Barry uh, Krogan, Krogan, something in? like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, he was arrested according to the UK based Metro. Uh, after causing a scene, after a resident called the police on, off on him, the police found the 29-year-old intoxicated, but the actor wasn't violent or harming anyone. So, yeah, right, he was no, no. released without charge uh, and issued a fixed change notice. So Whatever that is. So it doesn't sound like it's as terrible as what uh, oh God. Uh, Dum Dum Flash the actor Flash did. did. Yeah, so it doesn't sound too terrible. Break into a couple's bedroom, (laughs) steal their shit, and threaten to murder them. Right. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, So while we're going from not terrible... They're going to have to just change the ending to Flash and kill him off. Maybe. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Dr. Uh, uh, What's his name? I can't remember his name. The Yellow Flash ends up just... Reverse Flash. Reverse Flash. But he's a doctor of some sort. I can't remember his name. Uh, So we go from not terrible arrests to someone who is terrible and probably should have been arrested. (laughs) She should be. Uh, (laughs) Amber Heard this in fucking jo- bitch. Amber Heard in this Johnny bitch. Depp's story just gets wilder and wilder. One of the greatest actors of all time, Johnny Depp, and his whole career got ruined by this bitch. I by this bitch allegedly. Allegedly. Uh, so uh, Amber Heard apparently t- uh, testified um, in the trial. Yeah. Ag- against Amber Heard. No, no, no. You, Amber I said Heard's Amber Heard's former former. Oh, you sorry. didn't say that. Amber Heard's former assistant. Yeah. Testified against Amber Heard. Right. And uh, the she main takeaway she, yeah. was Johnny Depp was not physically abusive to the actress. Right. But uh, she was. Um, Apparently, Amber Heard once spit in her face when she asked for a high, higher salary. What? Yeah. Holy shit. Which sounds this fucking woman insane. is crazy. Uh, Heard uh, 
uh, descended into screaming fits of blind rage and sent in current incoherent text messages at 4 a.m. and was often high and drunk. Um, Kate James, the assistant, also testified um, uh, in the trial for Johnny Depp's libel suit against her. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, So she said that uh, unlike her, Johnny Depp was a total Southern gentleman. Right. So, yeah. So she sounds like a, a real asshole. Of course. A We've real, known this for a long time. Real asshole. She cut off part of his finger. I mean, why the hell they went along with the like keeping her in Aquaman 2 throughout the whole thing? Right. I mean, if they're so butthurt about Ezra Miller, right. they should be fucking listening to this. Right. I That's mean, a different story. They already filmed the Flash movie. They already filmed the movie. We heard about all this Amber Heard stuff before they even filmed Aquaman 2. Well, I didn't hear about this this bullshit. But no, yeah, but I mean... I heard that she was crazy. But yeah, we've heard all the stories where she accused Johnny Depp, and then it came out that she was the abuser, mm-hmm. not Johnny Depp. It's all fucking terrible. Yeah. And the other terrible thing about Amber Heard is just what she named her child. And What, what was it? Ogard? O- Ogin? O- 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 Odin? <laughs> Odin. <laughs> Uh, no, go down here. Go right down here. It's, I think it's. Ah, uh, it doesn't have it listed. Hold on, career. Where did you find it then? Personal life. It was, it was like, oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Onan Page Hearn. O O N A G. Onag. Onag. Onag Page yeah, Hearn. Whatever. Yeah. So anybody that names their children like that is likely insane. Or even Anyways. Unag, probably. It's two Unag. O's. Yeah, Unag? Name. I don't know. Unag. Yeah, yeah. Terrible. Last, Terrible. last thing, uh, Gilbert Godfrey died last week at the age of 67. R.I.P. So many legendary comedians are dying. Recently. Gilbert yeah. Godfrey, Norm MacDonald, well, Bob Saget. It's, it's not, you know, it's sad, but, you know, they were legendary for a long time, and, you know, we are getting older, and they're older, Yeah, but too. They're all, they were only, all of them are in their 60s. I mean, that's... It's not that old. It's not that old, but, you know... People fall apart. <laughs> uh, he died from recurrent ventricular uh, tachycardia. Tachycardia. Tachycardia complicated mm-hmm. by type two uh, myotonic dystrophy, which that is like a muscle. It's yeah. It's kind of. I think that's kind of like the Stephen Hawking thing. It sounds like a big similar. Attack. But yeah, that's uh, that's terrible. That's uh, he follows me on Twitter. Did he? Yeah. The wrestling podcast? No, no, Gilbert Gottfried follows me on Twitter. Oh, personally? Wow. Because I was uh, I was on Howard Stern's show. Well, I I submitted. Um, they had a uh, Jesus. I'm like I can't think here. The casting call? Or like no, 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 no. They had a contest, an impression contest, and Did I didn't. You? And I did an impression not of Gilbert Gottfried. Okay. I did an impression of one of their like most popular phone callers, Marianne. <clears throat> Marion from Brooklyn. I did so, and they really liked it. And I almost got voted to be on the show. And um, after that, like Howard Stern said my name, and then I even tweeted at Howard, and uh, he was one of the first, um, or I was one of the first people that Howard Stern like replied to on Twitter. Oh wow! And then after that, like Gilbert got, and I'm sure like it's his manager that that handles his social media account. Maybe, but, he, but you could always think that no, it was Gilbert Godfrey that personally. Yeah, probably not. Button. But still, it's still cool. He only follows like 1,300 people. That's pretty good. That's a good so, ratio. I think yeah, so. That's a good ratio. So there good you go. Him. So my most famous follower. <laughs> pretty sure. That's good. But R.A.P. Gilbert Gottfried. He, he, was, he was someone that like as a kid, I hated his voice. It's very scratchy. Like uh, then, nails on chalkboard. I'll tell you this. When I started listening to Howard Stern, like I was in college when I started listening to Howard Stern. So 18, something like that. And he was on the show, and that's where he was, like, legendary. Like, his appearances on Howard Stern's show were hilarious. Mm-hmm. And they had Gilbert Gottfried on, and, they, and Howard took phone calls, and everyone that called in was like, can you get this stupid-ass piece of shit off the phone? I hate this guy. And then Gilbert Gottfried was just laughing through all the phone calls. They'd be like, I hate this guy. And he's just like, ha, ha, ha. It was so freaking funny. And I, he's hilarious. He was hilarious on that show. I didn't realize he was in Be- uh, Beverly Hills Cop, too. Okay. Yeah, mm, right. Interesting. Problem Child. I remember him in Problem Child. Dr. Doolittle. Yeah. Affleck. Affleck, yeah. Until he made the tsunami joke. 
That's and a, uh, a what comedian's the, got a comedian, and right? Jafar's but, uh, bird. Right. In Aladdin. In Aladdin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, 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 right. There you go. Mm. All right. Well, if that is all the news and rumors, then we can cover Moon Knight Episode 3. Yeah. A little bit lame this week. No? You think? What did you think? I mean, I think it's on par with the rest of the episodes. There like, was more they've action. Been, they've been fine, but nothing special yet. Nothing special. There was more action, but there was, uh, I think it was a lot harder to follow this week. You know, just a I lot mean, it's, of stuff. I mean, it's getting was, complicated. Right. Now there's so many ancient gods everywhere. Yeah. They all have avatars. Right. They can just summon people left and right. Yep. And Conchu, Conchu, just a real big dick. He is. He's an asshole. You almost want to root for Ethan Hawke? I do. (laughs) I even though he looks like the even bigger douchebag. Right, right. But you know, it's so strange. So strange. I mean, obviously, he's gonna unleash Amit. That's the whole point. And Moon Knight or Conchu, they're gonna have a fight. Obviously, that's what it's building towards. But yeah. Starting from the beginning, I did like when uh, Mark was fighting those guys on the rooftop. And that one guy licked his knife to try to, like, intimidate him. And he Bam. just punched him in the face a bunch of times. Right. It was kind of funny. Every time he saw a glance in the knife, you could see it. Yeah, his Steven. alter ego. No, don't do it. Don't do it, Mark. Do no, it. no. Don't Steven, do it, governor. Steven doesn't like the violence, so he takes over. And Mark wakes up in a cab. Can we just say blood? And he actually killed someone? Yeah. I mean, this has got to give some... It's well, dark too because the little he, boy commits suicide. He, 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 <laughs> little boy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, he's a teenager. Teenager. Yeah. I mean, a little dark. A little, little dark. Praise, you know, gives you praise, some praise, praise Ahmed. And then just kills, yeah, himself. kills himself. Well, yeah. Mark blacks out again when he wake when he woke up. He was killing those guys, and he's like, "What the hell did you do, Steven? Steve was like, "It wasn't me." So clearly, there's another personality, mm. right? Can't you just? Can directly take over. There, well, no, I think there's a Mark, there's a Steven, and there's probably like a Bill. There's probably someone, you know? I think that's what we're waiting. We're going to, you know, that's going to be a reveal. Mm. There's going to be like a third version of them. Interesting. But it was kind of interesting. I mean, as soon as he snapped out of it, you saw the guy sliding away from his knife. And I was yeah. like, oh, wow. Actual murder on Disney? Right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Punisher has a chance. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, Kanchu manipulates the sky to get the other gods' attention. The gods are like, fuck that nonsense. And the gods hate him. They're like, you're Kanchu, you're a dick. They tell Kanchu that the avatars are just meant to observe and not to interfere. So yeah. they're like the Watcher. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And he seems like a really minor god, too. What's like, the point to observe if you're not going to do any, you know, well, the, research? The, it's like with the Eternals. You yeah. know? They're meant to observe, not to do anything. Well, no, the Eternals protect... For a while, until the thing gives birth to the thing and destroys the world. But I thought the, the thing was that they were supposed to observe, but they got entangled into it. I don't know. We're, we're mixing things anyways. Yeah. That Kanchu, was my takeaway. Kanchu wants them to judge Arthur for wanting to release Amit, but Amit tell, like, denies that he's doing that. He also convinces them that Kanchu is abusing Mark and Steven. And, but which he is. Which he is, and the gods <laughs> let Arthur go and... One of the avatars, the hot one, believes Mark Mm -hmm. and gives him some info on how to find Amit. Mark's wife, Layla, shows up. She gets a fake passport. Sure. sure, She can't go back to Cairo because Cairo hates her or something like that. It sure seemed like it as they tried to murder her later. Yeah. She takes him to an acquaintance of hers who owns a coffin of some person who knew the location of Amit's tomb. I guess he was an arms dealer, question mark? They were like... Yeah. Shirtless jousting on horses for some reason, <laughs> yeah. or stick dancing. Uh, there was an actual jousting. This male model was, you know, yeah, yeah. And they were like, you know, jousting for some reason was, uh, was very strange. I don't know what ceremony was it. Even was. jousting or, or stick dancing. Stick dancing. That's that's a better definition. Arthur shows up, destroys the coffin, obviously, and Arthur also tells Layla that Mark knows how her father died. But Mark later tells her, like, no, 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 I don't know, baby. I don't, but clearly he fucking knows. Yeah, snapped his neck himself. <laughs> huh? Mark. Mark killed Layla's dad? I don't know. I was saying. What are you talking about? I was saying. I was like, wait, did I miss something? <laughs> I say, who knows? 
No, that's the third guy that did that. Maybe. Mark summons the suit and starts kicking ass, but Steven, again, doesn't like the violence, so he takes over. And I do like that when Steven takes over, the suit changes back to an actual suit like we right. saw before. He doesn't know how to control it yet. Yeah. And he's then like, come on, guys, like, please don't. He's like, Tom, out, let's chill, let's chill the F out, okay? <laughs> and he gets stabbed, and he's like, oh, no, oh, take the body, Mark, take the body. <laughs> takes, you know. That was great. Okay, so Mark takes back the body, and the shirtless guy is on the horse right there. Yeah. And he sees him, like, shred all the, the pikes that were going through him. And then the guy's thing was like, all right, I'm just going to charge you anyways and try to murder you. <laughs> right. I mean, if you see that, you go run in the different direction. True. Run in the different direction. But no. Yeah. Crazy bullshit. Uh, Layla beats up a guy that's, like, two feet taller than her. Mm -hmm. Almost. Know. What? Almost from WWE. Almost, yeah. <laughs> Almost. Jesus. And uh, she takes some of the pieces from the coffin, and Mark lets Steven take over because he knows how to read them. And it's clear that Layla is falling for Steven. He definitely Because when it's Mark, he's like, oh, you're a fucking dick. I hate you. And then Steven's like, look, I made this stuff. And she's like, oh, wow. And she gives him a look like, I want to fuck. Right. <clears throat> Under these stars. Under these stars. And then Khonshu manipulates the sky again to help them find Amit. Because they have to look and see what the stars looked like 2,000 years ago. Yeah, because they, so like, like, they were like, if we do it in today's time, the stars have, have moved. Yeah. So we could be like a mile off from where we're actually trying to look. Yeah. So they manipulate the skies and the gods are like, okay, fuck this nonsense. Yeah. And they make uh, Khonshu into a little stone toy. Such a cute little that stone. That you can play with. Yeah. That's probably going to be the newest toy this Christmas. Maybe. Maybe. I and Arthur know. tells Khonshu, he's we like, have to get one for our table. Your torment forged me. I owe my victory to you. And that's how it ends. Yeah. He's a dick. Your dickness made me into a super and dick. And Stephen Mark just passes out and that's where we left him. Yeah. He's just dead, kind of. So, I mean, can he still summon the suit without Conchu? No. I don't know how that no, they works. they have to, because he's like, Stephen, tell Mark to to Break save me. me when I, yeah. But if I'm if Stephen, it's like, as no. simple as you just smash the stone and then he's free, <laughs> you just throw it down. Like like Genie, Genie stuck in the bottle. Break the, break the bottle and Genie pops out. I don't know. I mean... It was fine. You could tell that it's picking up a little bit, but dear God, it just was, it was like thing after thing after thing after thing. Not much. Well, that's what the show breathe. is. Yeah. Not so much character development as there is just like. No. Maybe they needed another episode or two. That's what they needed. Maybe. Yeah. So I don't know. Three episodes left. Let's see how they finish it off. You know, sure. still looking forward to it. Sure, 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 sure. All right, on to Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Electric Boogaloo. Oh, shut up. That joke's <laughs> been done so but many times. But not until today. It was actually good because there was a lot of electricity in this in this movie, too. Well, yeah, it's Sonic. So, yeah, it's Sonic. so this movie is Jim Carrey's biggest box office open ever mm. at $71 million. Interesting. I mean, okay. you know, it makes sense with inflation. <laughs> uh, great <laughs> opening scene where we see Dr. Robotnik in the mushroom uh, planet. And he's been there for like 284 days. And he finally like makes something and he zaps Knuckles to his world and... Knuckles and like we see Knuckles right out of the bat, so mm -hmm. I thought it was a great opening scene. And then they're off to murder Sonic. They are off to murder Sonic. Yeah, immediately mm -hmm. they just want to kill Sonic and yeah. all that stuff. Then we go to Sonic, who like we see in the trailer, he's trying to be like Batman. Uh, I like how he stopped the truck by just taking it apart completely. It was good. It was Sonic was really fun, kind of like a, a PG version of Daredevil. Uh, no, Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah. yeah. It's just like one liner after one liner, and they're really funny, and yep. you know it's he's it's likable, yeah, likable for sure. He is. Uh, I like the Ferris Bueller joke that they did, where the <laughs> dad sleeping. comes into his place and mm -hmm. he's got the fake set up, and but he's it's just it's Ferris Bueller but with farts. Yeah, he steps he's, on the line. <laughs> you don't want to come in here. No, I can't stop farting. <laughs> I had some bad chili dogs last night. Yeah. Oh Lord Jesus! No, don't step any closer. Yeah, it's a kids' movie, it's, but. 
But fun farts are funny. Dogs. I like farts. I, are I, fun. I still like farts. Yeah. And I wish I had a magical hedgehog that can teleport me to Hawaii because I hate flying. Same. Wouldn't me that too. be awesome? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, all right, well, we're going to go to Hawaii. Oh, just step through this ring. And you're there. That'd be awesome. Perfect. And that's when they left to go to Hawaii. That should have been the last time we saw mom and dad. I feel like we should talk about this movie in two different parts. We should talk about the movie in that the parts that we hated, which was every scene that those all two, the wedding Hawaii the bullshit. The wedding just made no sense at all. It served no purpose either. Well, like I told you after after the movie, like they could have cut thirty minutes off of this yeah. movie, and it still would have been great. And yeah. the thirty minutes that you cut is the entire wedding. All scene. the wedding shit. It's total bullshit. Of course, this. This male model is not going to be interested in the big fatty. <laughs> of course. Yeah, but then he ended up falling in love with her anyway. That's cause... bullshit. Yeah. That's bullshit. It doesn't happen in life. But for some reason that the whole plan was that they were going to get married and like, fuck. That Just was so the they most could find Sonic? ridiculous. Operation what? Catfish. Uh, Operation Cat. And she's like, what? You mean this fucking 10 out of 10 man doesn't want to fuck this too? And it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? You're a badass lady. Everyone's an FBI agent. Everyone. The two sisters are like, all right, let's kill all the FBI agents. (laughs) And they go on this weird, like... They just crawl. They just, like, duck under a bush. And the FBI agent's like... Well, they're not FBI agents. They're that gun. I can't remember what the acronym was. Same thing. But it's goofy, stupid, whatever. Yeah. And just, oh, so stupid. And then the the wife on the golf cart and running him over. Oh, my God. It was so bad. Yeah, and it was probably 20, 30 minutes of, like, useless nonsense. The only reason that it was... Hell, have no fury like a woman scorn. But the only reason we needed that wedding part or whatever was so that they would end up in Hawaii later in the movie. Yeah. That was it. Right. We could have gotten there so much simpler than just on the beach. Yeah, sure. Uh, why not? Uh, uh, anyways. It, was, it was so ridiculous. It was, it like, was mad. Who, what, who is that movie? Who is this part of the movie for? Well, it's it's obviously for no one. I don't know why it was filmed. Why was it in the movie? For <laughs> the moms? I don't even think they would like it. No. It was terrible. No. <clears throat> yeah, if they would have cut this, then this movie would have been like amazing. But right. that 30 minutes was rough, man. Very rough. I was like, what are we watching? When she's chasing her husband in the golf cart, I'm like, if you showed this to someone, they would never guess that this is a Sonic movie. Right. You'd be like, hey, I'll give you 100 guesses <laughs> and tell me what movie you're watching. And they're like, ah, Big Fat Wedding. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so some uh, type of weird romantic comedy. Nutty Professor 3. Did they make a new one? <laughs> some bullshit like that. Right. It was ridiculous. So... I don't think we don't really need to talk. I don't know. Maybe I think we, that's all we need to talk about. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I think so. Everything else was fine. They should have killed off mommy and daddy. And just like, well, they tried to later in the movie, but for some reason, Sonic, you know, but well, then, then when they go to Sonic's house, cause Sonic's like having like a home alone party by himself. It's funny. You know, he's going through all the tropes and everything. Yeah. He's destroying the house while he's having so much fun. Yeah. He's pouring, uh, soap into the pool and making his own bubble bath. Yeah. He's having a blast. Then dumb dad calls him and he has to clean up real quick. Hey, it looks like there's some stuff going on. No, it's fine, dad. He takes some Oreo thins from the grocery store, but leaves mm-hmm. leaves some money to pay for it, yeah. which I love Oreo thins as well. Sure. Yeah. It's great. But then when Knuckles and Robotnik show up and it's the scene in the trailer where he like Knuckles punches Sonic and then and then Jim Carrey does the Ace Ventura like he's like where are my manners? Which is almost the exact same thing as do not go in there. Woohoo! Jim Carrey was full Jim Carrey in this movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was Ace Ventura. He was the mask. He was all those things. Like, he was great. He was very great, uh, as always. Uh, Knuckles kicked Sonic's ass while Eggman ate popcorn. It was um, great. Yeah. <clears throat> Tails just kind of showed up out of nowhere. They didn't really give any. They didn't really give much of an explanation for Tails. It wasn't until like a. You're just like, I'm your biggest later. fan, Sonic, and I've been watching you in my planet. And it's like, what? I've been watching you bathe, but trick question, not bathe, because you don't bathe. You take showers. It's like, yeah, you guys are supposed to like be like childhood friends. Like, right. What is this other planet that you're talking about? Yeah. Um, but still like seeing Tails, obviously. And then they're like escaping in a car. 
And it's like, isn't Sonic faster than a car? Like, why are they in so. the police car? Knuckles just barely able to keep up with them. Yeah. 60s way too fast. Right. I did love seeing Tails fly while holding Sonic's hand, just like in the video game. Mm-hmm. I love seeing that. And he's like, did your butt turn into a helicopter? No, th- this movie was great fan service for people that love Sonic the, 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 the game. Yeah. You know? I don't know what 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 TV show they were filming when they did the the wedding stuff, oh but God. you know, but it was great fan service for yeah. most of the movie. We got Jim Carrey doing the floss. <laughs> he flossed for a little bit. That dance, right? That other cop that that was another like kind of pointless part of the movie with that other like forty year old virgin cop. Yeah, mm-hmm. where he's like, "Oh, welcome to my place, where I hope to bring a lady that's not my mom someday." I felt like, triggered. "Oh, he's 40. I felt triggered. <laughs> Triggered, <laughs> and then when uh, um, Robotnik comes back and his assistant sees him, and he does the line from the trailer, "Papa's got a brand new stash," and then he spins. He should have just been like smoking, because that was totally <laughs> the mask, one hundred percent the mask. Oh, right. It was so weird that the assistant just had this secret lab just built in a coffee shop. Whatever. Yeah, okay. sure, sure. Why sure. not? Sure. He's a barista by day, and yeah, and evil, evil. evil Genius by night. Uh, then Sonic and Tails go to like a Russian bar and Tails has a translator, but it's not working and it's more fart jokes. But I do like the fart jokes. Right. Or he tells the woman, he's like, oh, your breath smells like goat poop. And then Sonic says something. The translator's like, stand back. I am far- It's like something I'm <laughs> farting. I don't know. I just farted. <clears throat> I just farted. Then they have this dance battle, which was interesting. Right, because they were like, uh, they they said that word. Yeah. And they're like, what is that word? Oh, it means we're going to do some type of battle. We're going to throw it in the fire. Yeah. And you're led to believe when that guy takes off his shirt, like, oh, like they're going to like fight. fight. And no, it's a dance battle. It's a dance battle. It was good. It was, it was a good cute. dance battle. It's cute. Yeah. Uh, then they explain the Chaos Emeralds. And it's basically, they're just basically the Infinity Stones. Like, you get they're, all of them. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's always been the case in the game anyway. Mm-hmm. You get all of them and you have in, you have all the power in the world. So there it, was it, it a, tracks. Uh, there but was I like that of, they brought the emeralds into this movie. The emerald? Because the first Sonic movie had almost nothing to do with anything from the video games. Right. So I like that they did more of that in this movie. Well, there's a lot of Marvel crossovers in this movie, too. Yeah. They explained that um, like the owls have been fighting Knuckles species. And uh, Sonic's like, oh, they've been fighting for centuries like Vin Diesel in The Rock. That was a nice little reference. <laughs> that was good. And then Sonic tells Robotnik, you look like Professor X meets the Monopoly guy. That was good. So Which, many good one-liners. Do you remember in Ace Ventura 2? And you must be the Monopoly guy. Hey, <laughs> thanks for the free parking. It's a great line. I love that line. Uh, the snowboarding scene was fun. I like when he was like, oh, great, the Winter Soldier. That was right. good. Right, yeah, so many Marvel. Mm-hmm. And uh, the dad, the guy that plays Cyclops in the X-Men movies, mm-hmm. he like Sonic calls him at the wedding, and his ringtone is one of the Sonic songs. I think it's from level one in the second Sonic game. So I like seeing that. Then we have all the wedding BS. Yeah, they put the ring on the, on the, oh, on the girl's so finger. He's like, no, let me see the ring. Let me see the ring. All you had to do was say, hey, this is the actual ring. Look, look, I have the actual ring. It says wedding ring. (laughs) Don't punch the guy and then try to... It is so dumb. Operation Catfish. Fast forward 20 minutes. Right. Uh, The Sonic Knuckles fight was great. It was, uh, you know, the CGI was good. The action was good. Eggman betrays Knuckles and he gets the Chaos Emeralds. Or uh, what is it called when he gets the green one? The Master Emerald? I think it was Master, yeah. Master Emerald, yeah. And then, like, Sonic almost drowns, but he eats an air bubble, just like in the video game. Yeah, great stuff. Liked it. And then Sonic saves Knuckles, and Knuckles saves him back, so they're friends now. friends. Yeah. And they almost became friends on the mountains. Well, I thought... thought Knuckles was going to be like, you know, almost drowning. And he was going to be like, save Martha. And then Sonic was like, why did you say that name? <laughs> no. What, or the owl. What, yeah. What was the owl's name? Park. Oh. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Save the owl. <laughs> why did you say that name? That and then, great. you know, they're the best friends. <laughs> yeah. For no reason at all. Yeah. 
Like, that's all you had to do in Batman versus Superman. It's like, have Superman save Batman's life or something. Like, anything, but... Why did you do that name? The stupidest fucking... So dumb. ...reveal ever. So... No, but it's cool, because they have the same mom's name. Who cares? <laughs> Random dumb. Right. Like, my... like. My mom's name's Roseanne. Why would I give a fuck? Why would you say Roseanne? <laughs> why would I give a shit anyone else named Roseanne? Like, why would that be, you know? It makes no sense. Anyways, back to this movie. No. Uh, Robotnik, now that he has the green emerald, the master emerald, he makes his giant robot suit. The final boss. From the Sonic 2 game. Amazing. Final boss of Sonic 2. So fucking great. It had the it had the mustache the mustache killer the stash and, masher the stash masher the stash masher breaks the plane he kicks their ass for a while uh, but knuckles gets in there punches the emerald out well, of Eggman l- like they said when they were forming their plan and it yeah. is true his one weakness was that he cares so much about Sonic yeah and just destroying Sonic right had he had worried about all of them he might have been able to take over but true. no. He cared too much. Yeah. Sonic got in his head. As Sonic says, he lives rent free <laughs> in Dr. Robotnik's head. And then I knew they were going to do it. And again, fan service. Sonic gets the emerald. And I told you, I'm like, he's going to turn into Super Sonic. He's going to turn into Super Sonic. <laughs> and then he turned into Super Sonic. And, and I was Andrew like, was like <laughs> to none, to none. busted so many nuts. He was so close to standing up and cheering in the movie theater. Yeah. So close. Oh, oh if it was a. If it was like a packed theater, if it was like opening night with all the Sonic fans, I'm sure it was like this big cheer, big applause. I would have loved to have been there for that because mm-hmm. that was awesome. Seeing Super Sonic and he just fucks up Eggman's giant robot. So And easy. basically just lets leaves Eggman to die. <laughs> it does seem like that, but you when know, Eggman's it, not dead. Uh, that was funny, though, when he fucked up his, his robot and then he just went ding. And then, and then Jim Carrey was like, oh, it's like that? I guess we're not friends, as he <laughs> potentially falls to his death. He's probably not dead, but I think they did that because Jim Carrey... Just in case he doesn't want to come back. In case he doesn't want to come back. Right. Yeah. Then they could just be like, yeah, Sonic murdered uh, Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> so since He's a murderer. murderer. <laughs> well, I mean, it's only fair. Sonic's family is like, full of murderers. He has to come back because if you... If he doesn't, they said they're not going to recast Dr. Robotnik. As you should. need to find out. What? You would need to find some other human character to replace him. And I don't really know what other ones there are in the Sonic universe. <laughs> or unless he's so badly burned, he's an android like a, or he's a robot like Darth Vader. <laughs> Still, that wouldn't be that great, though, if it's not Jim Carrey. Or his assistant role. just replaces him. Ah, he's boring. <laughs> But yeah, Supersonic, that was obviously the best part. Best part for me. Uh, Then Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails swear to protect the Chaos Emeralds from anyone who tries to use it for evil. And you were like, oh, Avengers Assemble. There you go. Yeah, they were trying to think of a name. And then they play baseball and eat ice cream to end the movie. (laughs) And almost forget the fucking Emerald. (laughs) Right. But uh, Idris Elba, like as Knuckles, was great. He's what is basically this ball of bases. Yeah, when they played baseball, that that was a cute little scene where yeah. Knuckles is confused. He's like Drax. He's kind of like Drax in yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. And like when he he's like, "You've never been beaten worse than ever before." Like, yeah, Knuckles is great. It's fucking awesome. And then we have the mid credits where they're at the scene at the end, and the gun people are like, "Oh, there's no way Doctor Robotnik could have survived." And then they mention this other project and they tease well they actually show shadow Mm -hmm. who's another hedgehog uh if you don't know but yeah um and that's basically like he's basically winter soldier uh essentially so yeah Yeah, a robot built (laughs) but cool little tease there at the end for the mid credit scene yeah so overall like like okay so you know how someone made um the phantom metis cut Like, you know how, like, someone edited that movie to make it better? Like, it's Mm -hmm. online. Have you ever watched it? No. Like, someone actually put online, they edited out all the horrible shit. They they pretty much cut out almost all of Jar Jar Binks from the movie. And it's like, oh, this is a much better movie than, you know, like, with this cut. Someone needs to make the Sonic Hedgehog 2 
like uh cut like without the without the wedding shit it would be great <laughs> like just have them be like bye we're going to the wedding and then the ne- and then like the next scene at the wedding is just sonic coming in through the ring right and then that's it we don't see anything else like after that and it'd be so much quicker too yeah it'd be great and it'd be a much more enjoyable movie like if i have to watch this movie with leo again i'd be like hey can we fast forward this part this sonic's not even in this for the next 20 minutes like can we just right you probably say yes i think probably but I imagine he enjoyed it. Yeah, and he did. Uh, so I had some uh, IMDb, uh, just little facts and little nuggets. Okay. Uh, so apparently, uh, John Cena and Dwayne the Rock Johnson uh-huh. were both considered for the voice of Knuckles Makes before sense. Idris Elba. Right. So that Rock would have been cool. great. Yeah, or either of them. John Cena probably not bad. Nah, probably Rock. Idris Elba better. killed it though. He did great. Uh, the red biplane piloted by Tails uh, first seen uh, was first seen in the video game. Oh yeah, Sonic 2. Sonic Two. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the last levels. It's one of the most iconic levels ever. Yeah. That's why he had the red plane to begin with. It's good shit. Sonic Sonic's transformation into Super Sonic actually references Sonic Two in 1999, where Sonic transforms into Super Sonic. If you get all the if you get all the Chaos Emeralds in the game. And then, in, and so you have to get all the Chaos Emeralds. Uh, I think there's six or something like that, right? You get, you have to get all them. So it takes at least six, uh, like, levels to get it. Uh, well, no, actually, you can do it in fewer. You can do it in fewer. But you get all the Emeralds, and then you get 100 rings, and then you jump up in the air, and you turn into Supersonic, where you're super fast, hmm. and you're invincible until you lose your rings. Interesting. But yeah. <clears throat> it's awesome. Yeah. That's why I love seeing Supersonic so much. There's so many references from the second game. That's why it was great. Very, very good. Very good. I thought an overall great movie. Uh, out of 10? What would you give it out of 10? Uh, probably a 7. 7 or 8. Oh, yeah. I would have said like 7.5. This is pretty good. If you cut out the wedding shit, 10. I'd probably go like eight and a half, nine. 9. Mm-hmm. Because it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> but the wedding stuff. Wedding stuff hurt it. It was so pointless. That it did. All right, fan questions and comments. Uh, Harpoon Fingerfuck. Oh, good. Picked up where I left off with season three of Better Call Saul. Will you guys being rev- be reviewing the newest season? Forgot how great the show is. Yes. Of course. Yes. Here's the only we'll issue. We'll be reviewing it. We're going to be a week late every week with oh, Better Call Saul. Because like right. this episode is dropping Monday, April 18th. Mm-hmm. The first episode of Better Call Saul is, is you know Monday, April 18th. Oh, like, shit. we're recording this Sunday. Better Call Saul. The first episode is tomorrow. tomorrow oh, night. fuck. I didn't realize it was came out tomorrow. I've got to watch so many seasons tonight. Because, <laughs> okay, right now, I'm right at the... Uh, I'm in season four or five. Yeah. Uh, it's the first appearance of Lalo. So it's about to start getting really hot and heavy. Right. But, oh, God. There's so much I, good I, shit. I can't wait. So much good shit. And I'm watching Breaking Bad, so I'm going to be binging that while I watch Better Call uh, Saul. And yeah. See, yeah, so it's going to be kind of weird, kind of. Re- we'll do like a review and a preview every episode. Yep. Quick review and then like a look ahead of like what we're expecting for the next episode. Type right, of yeah, basically. Uh, old Greg, why do I feel so flat about Moon Knight? It just doesn't feel Marvel for me. I yeah. mean, different's better. It's just, it's not special yet. Hopefully it'll get there. And it hasn't hit its stride yet. Uh, the Unstoppable Roll-Up, Push Fire Barry, these horrible video game movie adaptations, Super Mario Bros, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, and Street Fighter. Oh, man. Well, it's not, they're not even saying Mortal Kombat 1. They're just saying, like, I think Annihilation is the second the one. The second one. I never saw the second one. I never saw the second one, but to be honest, I love Street Fighter for, like, how bad it is. Yeah. It's like a great B movie. Right. I kind of feel like I want to push that. That's fine. And then you... Oh. I have no opinion because these are all terrible. I have no opinion about uh, Annihilation, but you, you got to fire Super Mario Brothers. It's terrible. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to the new Super Mario Brothers either. Is that the one with Chris Pine or Chris, Chris Pratt? No, not Pratt? Chris, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. And he's not going to have the stereotypical Mario <laughs> voice. What the fuck? Like, what? It's me, Mario. Hey, it's me, Mario. <laughs> The Rizzler, uh, whose superhero powers you taking if you had the chance? Deadpool, Moon Knight, Wolverine. Well, Wolverine. definitely not Moon Knight. Wolverine, 100%. I mean, Wolverine or Deadpool, they kind of have the same. 
But Deadpool, you got the dis- disfigured face and all that shit. Well, they just said powers. Oh. Doesn't mean you have their face. I don't know. I kind of want the antimanium claws. Uh, either one's fine. But definitely not Moon Knight. You're tortured by that fucking country asshole. Yeah. Pop culture junkie, push fire berry, berry lawyers, uh, Matt Murdock, hmm? Vincent Gambini from My Cousin <laughs> Vinny, and Saul Goodman. Oh, Man. First of all, we're firing Matt Murdock. Right. <laughs> he's a shitty lawyer. Well, he's good when he wants to, but he barely well, like, lawyers. Who would you want? Push Saul Goodman. Because push... he's the most competent. Yeah, and he's so shady. And then I, I guess you got to bury Vincent Gambino. Yeah. Because you know he's going to help, Gambini. too. Gambini. And then, yeah, you, you fire the fuck out of Matt yeah, Murdock. Matt Murdock. I mean, that, that's the whole point is he <laughs> solves it in the streets. Right. Omar, X-Men Origins Wolverine is much better than Morbius. How fucking dare you? Oh, did I say it was better than... Those, come on, Omar. That movie was terrible. That movie was god-awful. They're I basically on the same level. Was that the Japanese Wolverine? No, that one was good. That was good? I didn't see that one either. The Japanese Wolverine one was good, where he's in Japan. No, X-Men Origins was the one where uh, Ryan Reynolds was the crappy version of Deadpool. No, it wasn't good. Still not better than Morbius. Right. They're on the same level, I think. Ian McAllister, I love Jim Carrey, but damn, I miss when he was in his prime. Respect him for living a private life, though. I don't know. This is prime Jim Carrey, to be honest, and Sonic, too. I mean, go, he go did, see it. He go did a great it. job. It's not Dumb and Dumber, Ace Ventura, or The Mask, that's for sure. That's a lot of them in that same movie, though. <laughs> yeah. D Log, after watching Morbius and seeing how much of my time was wasted, what are three superhero movies that should have never been made with characters that don't deserve their own movie? Uh, <clears throat> oof. Well, Morbius. Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> Both Jared Leto movies? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he wasn't in a ton of Suicide Squad, but the first Suicide Squad should not have been made. That was yeah, awful. it was bad. Uh, I mean, there's so many. Third? There's so many bad superhero movies. Ryan Reynolds deserved a superhero movie, but God damn, that Green Lantern was terrible. I never saw Green Lantern. Uh, the Fantastic Four, I really didn't like. Well, but they're, those characters deserve their own movie. I guess but that's But they've true. never done Fantastic Four, right. And, they, and I was excited for the second one because of Silver Surfer. I always loved Silver Surfer, and Silver Surfer was lame as fuck, too, in that movie. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, there's a lot, man. I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, Omar says any villain movie that portrays them as heroes, which is all those Sony ones, Venom and Morbius and Craven coming, you know. It's all Venom bad. probably didn't deserve its own movie, to be honest. I Venom-, mean, Venom is popular enough to get his own movie. He's the most popular villain like ever after the Joker. So he is popular enough and he does become the lethal protector because he starts out as a villain. But that's where I have the problem is he didn't start out as a villain. Yeah. And you can't. And how do you have a Venom movie about Spider-Man? I, you know, yeah, it's, it's weird. And Venom doesn't talk. Venom doesn't talk. Listen to our first podcast <laughs> of Hollywood Hogwash <laughs> if you want to see me go ape shit over the Venom 2 movie. Chris Dibburn, favorite Sega console and game. Mine was definitely Dreamcast and Crazy Taxi. Bro, Crazy Taxi on Dreamcast was uh-huh. the shit. I've never played it. Not even the arcade one? No. Oh, man. What the fuck is Crazy Taxi? Your taxi, well, it's so Crazy Taxi was an arcade game first, and you're a taxi driver. You have to pick up passengers, drop them off. There's a time limit. It's a lot of fun. It really is. Like Frogger, but with taxi? No, it's way better than that. Mm. It's arcadey and, and it's fast, and it's a lot of fun. Don't you? Oh, you have a 64. <laughs> I was like, don't you have a Sega? Maybe we can play it tonight. No, uh, I, I had a Dreamcast. I loved Dreamcast. I really did. I think Dreamcast was underrated. I think they just botched the production. They didn't make enough good games, but mm-hmm. they were like they had. That was what was cool about Dreamcast. They put arcade games on Dreamcast. House of Dead Two. I had on Dreamcast. That was awesome. I never really played Dreamcast. Um, it was they kind had, of expensive um, back in the day. Only they had their own version of Smash Brothers. Mm. It was called like Power Sto- Power Stone. Power Stone Two was so much fun. The Sonic games were fun. Um, but if you're saying Sega console and game for me, and this is why I love Sonic so much, it for me it's still Sonic the Hedgehog two. I enjoyed Sonic, yeah. Sonic two. I can't tell them specifically. Apart. Well, Sonic one is just Sonic. Sonic two is where you could 
you, we could both play. You could mm-hmm. be Tails, I could be Sonic, or Who vice wants versa. To be Tails? Tails is fun. But you could both play at the same time. Mm. And uh, that's where it, where the end of Sonic 2 is you fight the big Eggman robot, just like in the movie. And you could be Super Sonic, just like in... Yeah, like, that's why Sonic... Sonic 2 and the Sega Genesis. There you go. That's my answer. <clears throat> so there you go. That is all for fan questions and comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast wherever you're viewing us. We have exclusive videos on our YouTube channel, Hollywood Hogwash Pod. Follow the show on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, Hollywood Hog Pod. Next week, we'll be reviewing episode four of Moon Knight and the new Nicolas Cage film starring me, Nicolas Cage. I the unbearable weight wait. of massive talent starring me, Nicolas Cage. The greatest actor known to mankind. That's right. 